everybody, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And today we are looking at another Barbie Extra Fancy. She's extra fancy. So this is the one who is wearing a shower curtain. Now, <laughs> I'm not saying that in a way that means I don't think it's an attractive shower curtain. I'm also not saying it in a way that means that I don't think that shower curtains can be an attractive dress because shower curtains are a great material and if I knew how to sew, there are some shower curtains that I would love to make into really cool dresses. And I mean, look at what, what you know, Scarlett O'Hara did with, with, with the drapes from her, you know, destroyed house from the Civil War. I mean, you can do anything with a curtain if you know how to sew, but it does definitely look like my grandma's shower curtain. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing. I'm just saying it's a thing. I'm very interested in her hair. I'm really loving the color of this hair and, uh, and, and her accessories. I like the gold with this pattern, but I'm very curious to see what this feels like out of the box. So let's find out. And she's out of the box and she's totally wearing my grandma's shower curtain. And it's okay, cause it's actually kind of cool. So this is Oh, this Barbie extra fancy. Now, her face, this mold, is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. And I love the way they did the makeup and the skin tone to really work with this tangerine colored hair. I'm not a fan, we know, of glasses especially glasses that you can't see through on dolls. So I'm taking those off. Look at this braid. At first I was like, nah, well the hair's okay. And then I saw this braiding action going on here. And I was like, oh, that's so elegant. Like what an elegant way to wear your hair down but still do something like fancy, you know? And she does have a little tiny bit of tinsel in her hair. And I just found out that this is a thing because my friend Barbara had it done. Um, they call it fairy hair down in Florida where she's from. And you can get little pieces of tinsel put in your own hair. They like glue it to individual hairs and it looks so cute on her. It was so cool. Uh, wouldn't work, it doesn't work on short hair because they kind of stick up funny, but you know, it's okay. Uh, I love the earrings. I love that the earrings are not just solid gold, solid gold. Um, I love that they look like they have like turquoise in them. She comes with two necklaces already on and then this this one here that I added is like an ad, added accessory. I just put it on her because, you know, when you're wearing a shower curtain, you, you really, you gotta go with the bling. You, you gotta bling it up. <laughs> I also changed out her Barbie like Apple Watch cuff for her, uh, excuse me, camera, for her gold, hi, there it is, her gold and orange cuff, which I think is really pretty, and then uh, also this other cuff over here. She has this hideous, hideous purse because it matches the shower curtain. So the top part of the dress is a stretchy tank-like material with Velcro in the back, so easy to get on and off, and then the dress part is two pieces. So this is why I'm saying this is like my grandma's shower curtain. This is like, this is a shower curtain, okay? It's like see-through plastic shower curtain, see? It's shower curtain material, like, you hear it? It's a shower curtain. But I don't hate that because I'm kind, first of all, it's a unique way to make this outfit look like this. I think it's really, really cool because it makes the shirt, the, the skirt kind of shiny and just unusual. I would think it would be hot as H-E double toothpicks to wear this to a party, but you know, go on with your bad self. And then up at the top around the waist, it has this really pretty glittery blue band. And then underneath it has these stretchy leggings that match the top. So you can take off the shower curtain should you wish to not have her in the shower curtain. And then she's just rocking this look, which is dressy, 
but but still also casual. She would never carry this purse though. The purse is not a thing that, yeah, my doll's not gonna carry that purse. Just saying, thank you, thank you. I knew, I knew what you needed. And remember, she's on the curvy body. So I love that. I love that there's a Barbie extra fancy with some curves, uh, cause I have some curves and then some, and she's articulated everywhere except at her waist. So she's not a made to move Barbie, but she's darn close. She's articulated elbows, wrists, of course, shoulders, knees, uh, not articulated at the ankle. Um, and she has a decent range of, oh yeah, mm, yeah, oh, that feels good. Range of motion on her neck for you folks who like to take pictures. Uh, these are not molded on. These are cool looking leggings and they almost have like, they've got this sort of hash checked pattern to them, which also sort of feels shower curtain-y now that I think about it. And then she's got these hideous orange boots on. Um, I don't know any other way to say it. They should have been gold. They, they just, they, they should have been gold. I think we can all agree that we should have just golded out the shoes. Now, she's $32.99. So maybe golding out the shoes would have, would have, you know, made, made her outside the $32.99 price range. And that's why we have just orange shoes. And that's okay. That's okay. And for, for people who are looking for dolls for kids who, you know, don't want to get into the rainbow high, LOL, OMG, size range because you're like look my kid has like a million barbies i just want other barbies okay but they want like fashiony dolls then the barbie extra fancies and the barbie extras are a really cool choice uh they also come with a pet look at this little pet with the pineapples on and let me take your sunglasses off because you are oh sorry Clothes are done. You are an adorable little translucent kitty cat, complete with stripes. So it's a striped tabby, blue translucent kitty cat. So it's definitely going like going to the pool type of theme. It's definitely a pool party theme. And uh, she also came with this hideous uh, thing that I think is supposed to be a phone. You know? Yeah, it's pretty hideous. Uh, but anyway, I think she's really cool. I'm in love with her face. I'm I'm okay. I'm okay with the shower curtain. Like it's like I said, it's working for me. It's different, but that Barbie Barbie extra and Barbie extra fancy have been giving us some really different looks, especially in this Barbie extra fancy line. So I think it's kind of cool. Let me know what you think in the comments about this doll. Also, she does not come with a stand. This is one of my Kaiser doll stands. I will try to remember to put a link down below for that. Um, these are great for dolls that don't come with stands, but you want to stand them up on your shelf. I love you guys so much. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of the Barbie Extra Fancies, because this is the last one in this series. And she does not disappoint. She is extra fancy in a shower curtain. And that's an accomplishment. I will see you guys again real soon. Love you. Bye.